Hey, this is Mariana, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video about the mind. I was doing some reading the other night and came across some thoughts about the unconscious mind and the conscious mind and how they think and are and, and how different they are. And and then I saw a video today that apparently was talking about the exact same thing. So I did a little bit of research and I come to find uh, Sigmund Freud, who is responsible for making it popular, was um, the one who started this whole idea and he had some theories about how the mind works. Apparently it's one of his main contributions to psychology, so there's something to it, right? They thought his studies were relevant. Uh, so he, he compares the, the mind to an iceberg, which I thought was really interesting. It kind of helped clear up some, like, what is this? I, I, I was still kind of unclear, and I don't know about you, but when things are not very clear to me, I tend to overthink them a lot, and then it just kind of like numbs me and I don't know what to do. So apparently he thinks of it uh, as an iceberg. So on the top, there's, you know, we kind of have an idea of what what's going on. Uh, the top of the iceberg, you can think of it as your sub, uh, your conscious mind, which you know, which your your subconscious mind, uh, thoughts, feelings. We kind of have an idea of what's there. The unconscious mind is on underneath the water, where it's like super huge. We don't even know where to begin in that area. So nobody has really come close to figuring out what happens in there. But um, it basically contains our biologically based instincts. And Freud described those as eros and thanatos, I think. Thanatos. I don't know how to say it. How to say it. But uh, eros is basically the drive towards attraction and reproduction. And the Thanatos was um, compared to repulsion and death. So it's basic uh, biological instincts. And uh, the subconscious mind is where our thoughts and feelings and what a person is not currently aware of but can easily bring back into the, uh, up to the surface. It exists just below the level of consciousness before the unconscious mind, so it's in between. Uh, basically like the available memory. So say, you know, you're watching this, you're listening to me, and you're not thinking at all about the carpet that you're standing, or the floor that you're sitting on, or standing on, or that your feet are touching. But now that I've given you that to think about, you think about it, or I don't know, maybe that's not that good of an example. Um, yesterday, you had something for breakfast, and unless I would have brought up breakfast or yesterday's breakfast, you probably wouldn't have thought about it because you're listening to me. It's something that you can bring out from your memory into your consciousness. So, uh, Something that, uh, it's something very interesting, you know, we don't always, we don't always have a clear understanding of what we want or what our goals are. And, and I'm trying to tie this into something that you can take with you. But um, the gentleman that I was speaking or that I was listening to who was speaking, he was speaking about how when we do not have a clear purpose or a clear definition of what we want, it just goes all over the place. Our unconscious mind takes over and it's a totally different thing than, than uh, you know, what we thought was going to happen. Um, basically, he says this, any area of your life that you're not specific in will be crazy and all over the place and it's going to be uh, it's going to go whichever which way it wants to go and uh, and wherever it wants. Any area in your life that you are specific with 
and that you uh, decide to be specific in will have a uh, your unconscious your unconscious resources taking control so your unconscious mind basically has like you know um, it's going to be doing a totally different thing in the background and your conscious mind is doing something totally different so um, it was just really interesting when he was talking about that and made me you know it made it really kind of relevant to what I was reading the other day and I just wanted to share that with you you know just message of the day is basically be clear on your goals and really dwell into the base of what that goal really means to you excuse me burping over here and I found a quick quote for you too it uh says if you if you correct your mind the rest of your life will fall into place now how true is that when you really have a clear purpose and you correct the things that are going all wrong in your head everything else starts falling into place it really is the truth uh, so message of the day be clear in your goals clear your mind correct your mind with grief I have a lot to fix but um, yeah so have a blessed and amazing afternoon I hope that you will like and share and show as many people out there that you are awesome and amazing and you have a great and wonderful life ahead of you so with that I am out <laughs>